What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. Now, this video, as you've probably seen by the thumbnail and title, isn't going to be on the golf. Um, I'm having a few days off from that. I'm enjoying doing it, don't get me wrong, still enjoying doing it, but I think a couple of days off will make me appreciate it even more, I want to continue with it even more. Uh, I've got a little job to do now, um, which I've been saying I'd do for months and months and months. So, I'm going to get on with it now. Something different for a couple of days and hopefully a different video. Um, so yeah, see what it is. So I've got a 2016 Volkswagen Caddy van. Now this van is my stepdad's van. Um, he, he's had it over a year now. Um, and he said, I think he said last winter that obviously it's pretty cold and whatever inside it is just a panel van inside. It's got ply line and everything. So I've said, well, we'll carpet it, insulate it, ply line it, all that lot, um, just to make it a bit nicer to drive. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. And then, yeah, it's nearly a year later and, um, yeah, not, not done anything about it. So time to make a move on that and get this bit sorted for him. I still need to go pick some ply up from somewhere, um, but I've been to Transport HQ and I've got some dodo mat for uh, sand deadening. I've got some dodo mat insulation and I also ordered from Mega Van Mat some four-way stretch carpet and some adhesive. Um, so plan's going to be get the van back completely stripped out, clean all the inside, sand deaden all of the walls, the floor and the ceiling, or the roof. Um, we'll then fill it all with insulation, carpet the walls, carpet the ply lining, put it all on pretty much a similar process to what we did on the T5, uh, but just in a caddy. Now I've never ever ever worked on one of these before. I don't think I've ever actually driven one either. Um, so it's gonna be a bit of a learning process. I had a quick look and it doesn't look too bad. Um, so let's see. If we can get all this interior stripped out and form a bit of a game plan of moving forward. Now, yes, I spotted this morning. Got a nice big hole in my trousers. Put jogging buttons on underneath, so it's not my pants. So we're all good. Let's rock and roll. If you watch T5 videos, you'll have seen this little trick before. But these are the trim clips that go in the cut it. If you do a T5 and you want uh, black clips, caddy ones have got a black. So yeah, T5 ones are always light grey. Two part clip. This little piece goes in through the ply and through the metalwork. And then this threaded piece, which has got an Allen key in the end, basically just pushes in. He says. spreads them, which holds the panel in place. Now, there's probably loads of different ways of doing it. The way I do it, and remove them, mole grips, screw, in the center of it, turn it until it's gripped, pull, there it is, comes out. Unscrews, nice and easy, nice and easy, and then they, in the box, out of the way. I'm not gonna use them again, I don't think. I've got an idea. But they're black, they're not that bad. They're actually less offensive than the T5 ones are. So we may use them again, we may not. But yeah, easy, 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 easiest way I've found anyway of removing these clips, he says, is that one don't come out. It's just using mole grips and a screw, which is a screw I've just taken out the floor. So yeah, that's how I do it. And I think it's the easiest way to do it.
There we are then, it's a bit dark, the lighting's not very good, but that's inside all stripped back and stripped out, all the ply lining's out, floor's up, um, all the, car, the hardboard panels are off, the side of the van, headline is down, uh, B pillars are all down as well. So I've given it, given it a bit of a clean over, but I'm gonna go back over it as I'm doing it with um, brake cleaner, just so that we know that the areas that we're gonna be sticking things to are completely grease free and yeah, it's all gonna stick. So first thing to do is gonna be start sound deadening everywhere. So what I'm gonna be using is Dodo mat, I think it's Hex, um, which is a bitumen sort of backed aluminium face material that just, yeah, deadens the sound. So you stick it onto the outer skin of the metal work. I'll do a bit of a tap test in a minute as everybody does. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna, I've got 80 sheets of it, which might be overkill, but I'd rather put too much in and it'd be banging than not have enough. Hopefully I don't run out. So. I'm gonna make a start, start with the roof, then walls, and then we'll jump down onto the floor and the arches. But hopefully, this shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna found this out of where we had where some stuff stored. It's like a um, roller for joins and wallpaper. Pretty good for putting this on. You don't, you don't go uh, rubbing your fingers and all that with it then. Um, and then you've got that handle to get it into like nooks and crannies of the vein. So, I'll set the camera up and try and show you as best I can. The lighting, because it's a black van inside, it really isn't the best for lighting and all the lighting is that end of the workshop because that's where I'm mostly working, not this end of the workshop. But anyway, let's make a start, see how we can get on. might have got a little bit carried away with the sound deadening. I've absolutely caked it everywhere. I've got it all up on the roof, um, on both sides, that side's obviously not as much, but this side is up in high, down in all these low areas as well, it's all done. Both wheel arches are done and the floor's done. There's so far, I think about 70 sheets in there. I've got, I think I've got 10 left. I ordered eight or I picked up eight um, I've got a couple of bits on the floor, that bit there on the floor and that bit there on the floor to do. Um, but they're that big and I'm not sure how big they are, what, 300 by 200, something like that. 
Um, yeah, maybe 400 by 200, I don't really know. Um, I'm not sure how much they are, but I'll put a link in the description to all of the items on Transport HQ's website that I'm using. Um, goes in super easy. I mean, this has taken an afternoon to do, so it's not too much of a, a big job. Next thing to do is gonna to be to start carpeting the van then. Um, I've carpeted uh, quite a lot of T5s, never really done any other van. This doesn't look too bad, looks okay. Um, got some nice four-way stretch carpet from Mega Van Max, which I've worked with many, many times and is brilliant stuff. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this video into a few, uh, just spread it out a little bit. Um, hopefully I'll get the next episode part two out tomorrow, so do keep an eye on the channel for that one. If you've not already subscribed, do please consider clicking subscribe. Give us a little like, comment on the video as well. Um, do you guys think it'd be good to get our own Project Caddy van? I think it'd be pretty good. See what we can do with one from a pure basic white panel van to something a hell of a lot cooler. Maybe not graffiti paint this time. I might try and do it properly or you never know. Might even try and wrap it. I've always fancied having a go at that. But anyway, we'll leave this one there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, enjoy.